Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, and today we've got a neat little bit of kit to show to you. Uh, what you're looking at on the counter there is a uh, recently finished Resto Mod uh, project in curly maple, uh, excuse me, curly cherry, my bad. But we're not here to talk about the gun, even though the gun's quite attractive, even though the gun shoots very well indeed. We're not here to talk about the gun. What we're here to talk about are shot tubes, and specifically Model 25 shot tubes, and even more specifically than that, we're here to talk about this little gem. This is a Terry Cowger Model 25 Warp Speed Shot Tube. Now, I'll leave a link to his uh, uh, YouTube channel in the description and comment below, but you'll need to travel over to uh, the High Road for and you'll see a lot more in-depth information on the nature of this product and what it was designed to do and why he built it. This is the only one in the world that I'm aware of, and what you'll see here is a current production Daisy Model 25 shot tube, current production cap, current production shroud, current production magnetized uh, bolt-in element to go into the abutment washer. Now, this, these shot tubes are sold these days for the uh, Daisy Model 25, but they will also fit pre-78 uh, Daisies, small frames, that are equipped with bottle cap shot tubes. The length of the shot tube is the same, the thread is the same, they bolt right in. Now, let's take a look. To understand what's going on with this, let's take a look at this which is exactly the same shot tube, except this is one that Daisy has built. All right, so same end cap, same uh, metal sleeving the uh, barrel assembly, same feed ramp, same feed port, spring, follower guide, and pack full OBBs down to the magnetized mount, as you can see here. Now, to give you an idea of what's going on inside this thing, let's take a look at an earlier iteration. Because these 50-round magazines have been a Daisy product ever since the Model 25 was introduced. And that's going back a long way. Long, long way. Now, as you can see here, we have the spring guide. We have the tube that holds 50 BBs. And you can actually watch little BBs marching down. Marching down the tube, heading for the firing point. And here is a critical detail. You'll notice that the BBs make a turn and that there is a hole right there that they pop into that allows them to get into the actual barrel to be fired. So that's the loading port and uh, keep that in mind because the loading port will come up in just a moment or two as we explore what Terry has done with the current production Model 25 shot tube and why he did it. So this little loading port exists on the current production Model 25 shot tube and any other rattle trap shot tube you, you encounter. There will be a hole right there that uh, allows the BBs to get into the barrel so that when your air tube, the little piece that's on the end of your plunger assembly, is released from its spring catch, it can drive in here and poop that BB down, give it a puff of air, and out it goes the barrel at, oh, oh no, Catastrophe. Uh, fine. Was that an earthquake? No, just me dropping. <laughs> okay. Kicks it down the barrel and off to the target it goes. So that's an important thing to know because this is something that Terry's uh, attempted to take a problem to take out a problem with. Now, in Daisy Modding Land, you get wrapped up in how much more speed you can get out of your gun. So in the case of the mods we do to uh, the mods that I do to the standard small frame daisies like this guy, I'll put a better spring in it. That'll give me about 25 feet a second. I'll put an overbore air tube in it. That'll give me another 25 feet a second. And if I tack in one of these daisy uh, 50 round current production shot tubes, uh, that'll give me another 25, 30 foot a second. So I'm getting close to 100 feet a second improvement over whatever the speed level was on the gun to start with, in a new gun anyway, our new-ish gun. Now, this is, as you notice, Terry's tube is much different from the spring-loaded version. To start with, there ain't no spring. That is a copper tube that is loaded from this port right there. Now you can pile up, I got 40 BBs in it. And he said, he said it had a 40 BB capacity. So it's a little reduced from the spring drive unit, but it's only 10 rounds. And uh, you drop your 40 BBs in the hole below the muzzle. This is the loading port. And when you get that done, you take your plug and you stick it in there. And it's just a little plastic plug. And what that does is it pressurizes the entire 
tube on a firing stroke. And this results in about another 20 feet a second in velocity. Uh, this particular gun, let's back out and get a sh uh, long shot. The cherry gun here uh, was just recently finished project. It's going into Ramuda for the crazy, the crazy range shooting series that we're doing this year. And uh, this gun was running pretty, pretty hot with just a standard mod package. Uh, had a high range of 355, so it's in super thumper territory. 10 shot average was 347. So, pulled out the uh, Model 25 mag that we had been using in it and put Terry's warp drive mag in it. And it jumped up to a high speed of 380 feet a second. That's a big increase, big percentage increase. It's, as, uh, it's like you had a, well, it is what it is, it's a super tube. Now, I banged 50 rounds through this gun through this tube in this gun in the first ballistic trial because the more I shot it, the faster it got. And that's not normally the case. Normally you'll get a high high range and then you'll see some variation off that, you know, up and down the scale. But this little guy, little guy topped out at 180, but had a number of rounds that were over three, uh, excuse me, 380, but had a number of rounds that were over the 370 mark. So I'm thinking this is a success. And the reason it's a success is because air is not allowed to escape out of this assembly when it needs to be going down your barrel. And he hasn't achieved 100% of that, but he's gotten this little mod he did to this uh, Daisy uh, magazine did give you another 20 feet a second, another 5% increase in performance. And it doesn't look all that tough to do. I mean, I haven't tried one of these yet, but I, it's on the list of things I'm going to build. Uh, basically, you disassemble the magazine back here. Uh, it's got a couple of screws that come out. And then you pop that rascal off. Be careful of this when you do that. And you have access to the uh, tube. And then you to get Terry's mod done, you'll need to drill a hole in this end, and you'll have to figure out a way to index that uh, with the... Uh, base of the muzzle and the tube itself to make sure you get a good drop. And then I've got to do some research on what size copper uh, or brass tube he used for that. Obviously it's got to be BB diameter on the inside but also obviously it has to have a smaller OD than the uh, uh, metal sleeve you're going to slide it down. Now checking this out down here it appears he sealed the breech assembly with an epoxy compound. I would say that was a, a wise move. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary but he did it, it works. I'm not gonna complain with that. Uh, right now, the gun is, or the magazine is gonna stay with us for a while because I'm gonna shoot it in seven more guns and see if we see a replication in performance. I got a funny feeling it's gonna end up adding uh, 20 foot a second, 25 foot a second to whatever gun you put it in. <coughs> to whatever gun you put it in. And you know, that's a win, that's a plus. That's a great thing to do. Now. Terry is also probably, I don't know, the best custom mod daisy builder in America today. Granted, he's not, you know, prolific. He doesn't build a lot, but I'll leave a link in the description below uh, so you can go take a peek at his, uh, his flintlock that he built, his actual cap and ball daisy. Uh, it is magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Now, on an aside, we also, I also tried uh, this shot tube, which is a Restomod product. It fires, it's a single shot shot tube for six millimeter airsoft pellets. So I dropped it in this gun, uh, loaded it up, fired it, and with this thing installed, you'll notice it's a single shot. So there's no air port. There's nowhere for the air to go except out the barrel. Uh, that would throw, was throwing uh, 12, 12 gram airsoft pellets at 526 which is pretty damn quick, pretty damn quick. Just another note. So it's kind of stuff you do when you mod daisies. You start tweaking with them and sooner or later, you'll find something that works. And you might break a few along the way, but that's, that's a few eggs in the omelet. What can I tell you? That's all we got for you today, kid, on the Terry Cowder Warp Drive. Mod